What's up guys? So it's day two for me in Thailand and I'm finally over, well sort of over my jet lag, but today I wanted to talk about what I bring in my backpack in order to go backpacking. As you can see I have two backpacks here. This is my main backpack and this is my day pack and I'm going to tell you why I chose these two backpacks and what I bring in them. Okay, let's roll it. Okay, so before I actually get into what I pack in here, I'm gonna talk about this backpack that I bring. This is the Osprey 40 liter Farpoint Traveler's Backpack. And this backpack is honestly probably the most important thing I have um, when I'm traveling because it allows me to take this bad boy as a carry-on on most flights. Also, it loads like a suitcase. You can actually jam pack a lot more things in there versus a uh, actual like backpacker's backpack like camping and stuff, you have to load that vertically. So it packs or loads like a suitcase would, but it actually is a backpack backpack, and I'll show you how that's possible. So as you can see, it loads like a suitcase, but it's like a backpack. It has these detachable straps you can go into the actual like zipper pocket of the backpack, so it can actually turn into a sort of like a carry-on as well, and your side will shut down in a second. So you load it like this, and it's a bit bulky, but it fits pretty much in every single carry-on. So I'll show you right now how this actually will attach um, and become kind of like a suitcase in a way without the straps. So you do that, that, and then these actually just slide in like such. And then you actually just zipper the top, and voila, you've actually stuffed these in as well, and it becomes like a suitcase that you kind of just carry like that. So it makes it really, really easy when you're like, I don't know, trying to stuff this into like the overhead compartment on an airplane, or if you want to take it, you know, and put it next to your feet. It's basically really, really convenient um, to put in like small places. Also, they have these really nice straps on top where you can lock it like that and just kind of squeeze and pull it to make it even like fit in a smaller spot, like such. Yeah, so now it's even smaller. Okay, so now that you've seen my backpack, I'm gonna show you what I actually put in the backpack um, to go backpacking. So I'm gonna start off by saying that there's a lot of stuff that I have you don't necessarily need when you're backpacking, but this is just stuff that I've kind of learned that I like to use um, kind of just wherever I go. So it will change honestly depending on the trip you're on, but right now I'm in Thailand, so I'm packing a lot of light stuff, not very like you know warm clothes, a lot of like shorts, a lot of t-shirts, a lot of tank tops, um, things like that. First thing, little hat. I always bring a hat, um, you know, just keep this off your face. Next thing is going to be my electric equipment, which is chargers, power banks, and the sort. So I'm actually gonna open this and show you exactly what I have. Okay, so the first thing is my headphones pouch. Um, I like to keep a spare pair of headphones, um, usually uh, one that actually has an aux cord um, because you can use it on flights and such like that. And I actually have a, um, one of these, uh, oh my gosh, what are they called? Um, splitters or whatever. Uh, to put my iPhone in case my AirPods run out of battery. I have my GoPro extendable uh, selfie stick, which comes in handy because you can get a lot of really good perspective off of the length that's like this. Um, it's super cheap on Amazon, was like I think like 20 bucks. Um, so super useful to use. It also floats, the grip is nice, and it has protecting grip as well. This is um, stuff for my GoPro uh, mouth mount, mouth grip. Um, this kind of goes like here. <laughs> so this is good for like perspective uh, shots on the GoPro which is completely unnecessary, by the way. It's just something that I have. Same as this, it's a head mount for the GoPro. You definitely don't really need it. I don't actually use it that often, but I kind of just keep it with me anywhere I go. This is something that's very important to me because it's my external hard drive. I think it's like two terabytes of space and I can use this to put like a lot of my video, a lot of my pictures, stuff that I can't really fit on my computer. Um, yeah. But you only need that, honestly, if you bring a computer. Okay, the rest of the stuff that I have in this electric bag or charger bag is a power bank, a charger for my iPad, one of those big boxes, and then a little power adapter. This is a 
plug for my GoPro, and then this is just a regular uh, USB cord, and this is also another USB cord that I use. So yeah, it's everything that I have in my kind of like charger electric equipment bag. Another thing, before I forget, these things are an absolute lifesaver. You absolutely need these. Um, they're called packing cubes, so this is e-bags. I have like four or five of them here because basically if you just have to throw everything in there, it's gonna be absolute chaos when you're actually like get somewhere and you wanna pull something out, you can't ever find anything. So these will literally save your life and save so much time if you um, buy them and use them properly. Next thing is my super cool laundry bag. Um, this is good because it's a map and I like it. Also, it's really handy because you can put all your dirty laundry in it and then you can kind of tie it up like that. And it actually keeps the smell out as well, um, pretty well. So I use this pretty much every time I leave the trip. Um, these are my two toiletry bags. I don't need to show you what's in them because everything has to suck. Everyone has the same shit. Toothbrush, toothpaste, whatever. This is my other toiletry bag. This is what I use for like the shower. Okay, next thing is something you don't need, but I like to have. It's a camera mount um, for my camera that I'm filming on right now. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, pretty cool. You can kind of twist the legs to do anything you want, like some like really cool spider legs. Um, so it can like attach into like multiple places, and yeah, it's pretty rad. But definitely not necessary. You don't need this pants because they wouldn't fit anywhere else. So I have two pairs of pants kind of laying around. Okay, so here's another one of my packing cubes. Uh, I keep all my socks in this one, and I usually keep about, I don't know, eight to 10 pairs of socks, like uh, dry fit socks that are like really good for like running and kind of for everyday use. So I usually keep anywhere from like seven to 10. Next packing cube is my underwear. I usually try to go a little bit more in that underwear because sometimes you know, you never can have enough underwear, right? So I usually keep about, I don't know, 10 to 12 pairs of underwear, um, which a lot of people will say is way too much, but I don't know. I can fit it in my bag, so I don't see why you can't. Okay, I like to bring a mini speaker, which you definitely don't need to do, but you never know when this kind of like comes in handy. This is like an, this is an oons angle. There we go. Yeah, this thing's really sick actually, like um, it's supposed to be like semi-waterproof and it's pretty loud But you never know when you're like in a hostel and you want to listen to music um, with a bunch of people Or if there's like a little hostel pre-game, this has come in handy quite a bit, so I like to bring this um, And it's also super light and small so I can just kind of fit it in here Okay, what's next? One swimsuit, you only more than one to be honest with you, unless you love swimsuits for some reason um, this is another packing cube. I think I have like various sorts of like ad meal and stuff down here. This is a pair of sunglasses that I like to keep. And I like to use this like outer casing because I don't want to get my sunglasses scratched. They're a pair of nice pair. Okay, this thing. So this thing is basically a day pack, but it kind of folds up into this little pouch. And I absolutely love this thing. I could not recommend it enough because it folds into what you see now, and I can unfold it like this, and it becomes a backpack. So this is usually my day pack, that's sort of my day pack, but this is actually if I'm like going like a hike or anything like that, this comes in handy like a lot. A lot of space in here to throw in like, I don't know, sandals or a towel or anything like that. So this is like super, super handy because it can fold up and you can you know, just throw it in there as well. And you can actually do this in the laundry as well. I've washed this multiple times, so it's really, it's only like $15 on Amazon too. I don't know why anyone doesn't have this. Okay, so this will vary because I'm in Thailand, but this is like the only long sleeve I have because the rule of thumb is like layers. And this is like a super thin like hoodie that I can kind of throw on if I'm traveling, like in a train or on a plane or something like that. And it's made of a material that doesn't really like smell that much too, so it's really nice. Yeah, so I bring this kind of everywhere. And it's, I like it. Okay, I bring one pair of pants. A lot of people like to bring like two or three. I think just one's fine. Honestly, I like wearing shorts anyway. I guess it's up to the individual. But pants, in my opinion, I only wear them when I'm going out. Especially in a place like Thailand when it's like super hot. You don't really need more than one. 
Um, you do need them if you're going to like, uh, I don't know, like temples and stuff like that. But then I literally just will throw this in my day pack because it's so hot here, you don't really want to wear pants, you know? So yeah, one pair of pants. Okay, very, very important. If you're gonna be backpacking and going in hostels, sandals or flip-flops, whatever you want to call them, these are so vital if you don't want to have gross feet going in the showers. I recommend a really light, like flat, thin pair. And then I usually just keep them in like a plastic bag so they don't get everything else gross. Yeah. Go for like the light ones, don't go for like the really... And also you can just pick these up anywhere, like they have sandals everywhere in the world. So if you forget them, you can buy them super cheap. But, I have a pair, so I bought them. Next important thing, if you are staying in hostels, or honestly just traveling, this is super nice, is a microfiber towel. So this thing kind of folds up really small, and you can fit it in this little pouch, and it's a microfiber towel. It dries super, super quickly. So you use this in the shower, it will cover you. It's, it's like pretty big. Um, but yeah, you can use it as a beach towel as well, but it also just dries super quickly. So if you're like, you know, traveling from one place to the next, and you're, you leave this out for like 20 minutes, I, it literally will dry, I guarantee you. It's super, super handy. What's next? So I guess my other long sleeve is my rain jacket. Um, so I have a North Face rain jacket. This is like a really nice rain jacket. It's super thin, so I guess if, I, if it's a little cold, I can wear this as well. But it's uh, like a windbreaker slash rain jacket, and you know, especially for a place like Thailand where like it could rain quite a bit. Um, I don't think it's the season right now. But this, I pretty much bring everywhere because it's super thin, I can, fit it like, like I can fold it kind of in my backpack and it should fit fits anywhere. And yeah, I don't want to get rained on. <laughs> so, always bring a rain jacket. Okay, this is like my one nice going out shirt, which is super, super wrinkled. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, it's also a long sleeve, but it's actually technically a short sleeve because it folds up. Uh, it's super thin, so yeah, it's nice for Thailand, but it could be not that nice other places. It's white, which is kind of a problem sometimes because you know, usually you want to stick to like darker colors um, because it's easier to wash and you know, like the stains are easier to get out and stuff like that. But I don't know, I like this shirt and white's nice, so. Okay, the last thing I think that I have in here is just my huge thing of shirts. So I usually bring like 10 shirts and you kind of fold them all up like such. Yeah, so I usually bring 10 shirts. Most of these are tank tops because I'm in Thailand. Could be different, you know, if you're traveling in like a colder climate. But I like to bring multiple shirts um, so I can do laundry like every like week and a half. Some people are religious and saying like they have to, you know, only bring like five shirts. I think that's a little bullshit. I don't know why you wouldn't bring like shirts about that. All these like clothes are like super thin. Like you can easily fit what well, I just packed, you know, 10 underwear, 10 socks, 11 shirts, 12 shirts um, into a 40 liter backpack, which we can take on a plane. It's honestly super easy. You just gotta pack right. Another thing I just haven't really touched up on is the rolling aspect of packing. As you can see here, I roll all my clothes up because it's supposed to actually save space and I've noticed that it definitely has. I've done both where I fold it and try to cram it in there, but if you use packing cubes and you actually roll it um, in a certain way where they all kind of like, you know, stick together, it saves a lot of space, um, which is really, really handy. Everything else in this backpack, I'll show you right now. So that is completely empty. On the sides, I have little zippers where I keep a bunch of plastic bags. And honestly, I do this because you really never know when you need plastic bags. Like I honestly will go through this an entire trip. Yeah, sorry, environment. But plastic bags come in clutch uh, when you want to like, you know, buy snacks and you eat half of it. Or if you have like a dirty piece of laundry that like smells or something wet. You can kind of stick it, stick it in a plastic bag and you don't have to worry about it. Boom, Alaska bear. I'm trying to like sleep on a plane, um, or if it's like a really light hostel with like there's people like being annoying and shining light in your eye for some reason. I bring a watch because I always got some time, right? Oh, this is super handy. So this is like a headlamp. Yeah. So there's like multiple settings and you can put this on your head. And okay, I don't know why it's so freaking big today, jeez. Yeah, this is super, super handy if you actually get into like a hostel, like super late, or if you arrive somewhere 
you know, and there's like, it's like two or three in the morning and there's no lights in the hostel and you don't want to wake the nine or ten or other people with like sleeping in your room. You can kind of just throw this on and you can kind of like unpack and throw things in your locker and, you know, figure out your sleeping situation. You can always obviously use your phone as well, but, you know, this is just kind of nice to have. Yeah, unnecessary, but gives me, allows me to have two hands when I'm doing things and also, if you're going on like hiking, like I actually used this in Machu Picchu when we were hiking like super early in the morning, if you're going like a sunrise hike, yeah, you put this on and you can see everything. So, super nice. So what else do I have in here? Oh, okay, okay, I guess. You never know. Um, some band-aids, yeah, for any like crazy paper cuts you get. This is super handy. So this is a Lewis and Clark cable lock. Um, and basically what this does is it's a lock that kind of can extend way out. And I've used this multiple times to actually lock my bag either to like a bed frame um, if there's no locker for some reason, or I use it to lock my bag to myself because if you say like you're on like a super long like sleeper train or on a bus, like overnight bus, and you have like your bag in front of you, someone can easily just like, you know, swoop it if you fall asleep. So I use this to lock it up to something. Um, so they don't take it, so it's super nice. But also pretty, you don't need to have this, but. I've also, if you're intelligent about it, you can use this as a clothesline, which I have done in the past. Cool. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about my day pack. Okay, so this is my other day pack. The other one, like the blue one you saw that folds up is like my you know, hiking day pack, whatever. This is when I'm like traveling with my computer and everything. My computer, um, my computer pouch, which is over there charging. But that's this is super handy because it actually has like built-in a built-in like computer compartment. So I will slide my computer and my iPad in there. So I actually bring an iPad because this is super super nice to like watch movies if you're like on long buses or airplanes, stuff like that. Uh, you can also download movies and like shows on Netflix onto iPads. You can't do that on the computer, on like your Mac or anything like that. So yeah, what else is in my day pack? Okay, this bad boy. So I've used this for a lot of trips. Um, this is like whatever, one of those cool pouches that you wrap around yourself, a fanny pack or whatever. I know it looks super stylish, but I will tell you right now, this bad boy is awesome because I carry around my passport in it, I carry around my money in it, I carry around everything and I feel super safe and secure. This is really nice when like you're going through airports and stuff and you have like, you know, your big backpack, your small backpack, your computer, your iPad, your like camera, you like have your all your hands full and you need to like bring your passport out or like your boarding ticket or whatever. I like sits here, which is nice. And I feel really safe with it. So yeah, don't give me shit. All right, I like it. What else we got? Okay, so this is just like a little folder that I kind of keep like, you know, boarding passes, I think I have like five copies of my passport in here. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, I think I just keep like important like important documents in. I actually also keep passport photos in here. So, those of you who don't know, like having passport photos is really handy just in case that you need like a last minute visa if you decide to go somewhere. A lot of times you will have to give like a passport photo um, to them in order to get your tourist visa. So it's nice to have that. You can always just get it, you know, wherever you are, but it usually costs money. So if you have time, just go and take a photo and you know, cut it out. I think it's like what, two by two or something like that. Super small. Okay, shout out Mary because these things, Mary Diamond, if you're watching this, thank you because these things will save your life. Um, so like if you're traveling around places that like can be, the food can be kind of sketchy, these will become your best friend because it will help you digest food. You usually have like two or three, I think, before a meal or after a meal. Basically, just kind of like release the stuff in your stomach where it can digest the food properly and you won't feel like shit. So, thanks, Mary. This is my power bank that I use for traveling. Um, this is an anchor power bank. So this thing will literally last you for days. Um, you can buy it on Amazon. Yeah, it's super, super nice. Hasn't failed me yet until it dies, but you only really need to charge it you know, every once in a while. And if your phone runs out of battery in the middle of nowhere when you get there at like two or three in the morning and you have no service, no battery power, nothing, it can be quite stressful. So bring a battery pack. Wet wipes. These are, there's multiple uses for wet wipes, man. Yeah, just bring them. I'm, it's, they're not that heavy, 
and in case of emergency, you never know. What else we got in here? Oh, my GoPro. Okay, so I have the GoPro Hero 7, which I highly, highly recommend um, anyone in getting because the new GoPro is so, so powerful um, compared to all the old versions. They just came out with Hero 8. So the Hero 7, which I'm filming on right now, is much cheaper, I think, like at least like $150 cheaper. And it's literally like 10 times better than any other GoPro, which is honestly because of the hyper smooth. So basically if you're using the GoPro and you're walking, it's super, super steady. Um, it kind of senses where you're going and will like auto correct for it. So yeah, highly recommend buying the GoPro Black Hero 7. Advil. Yeah, Advil and, oh, here we go. Okay, shout out Speedo because AirPods are the literal shit. I love these things. They are so fucking nice and you can bring them anywhere and they're super, they stay in your ear, which I didn't think they were going to, but they do and you can take them running. They charge like literally within like three minutes of you putting these things in here um, and they'll last you, I don't know, hour and a half, at least two hours probably um, on a full charge, maybe more. These things are amazing and I will literally bring them everywhere because you know, gotta have music in your life, right? And lip balm and a pen because you never know when you need a pen if you're doing like custom on a flight or anything like that. But I think that is it for the backpacks. Yeah. Okay, so these are actually the only pair of shoes I have in the month that I'm backpacking Thailand right now. Because I run in these, I pretty much go out in these, I do everything in these. They are Nike Flyknits, Flyknits, Flyknits. They are like the comfiest shoes I've ever owned. They're like running shoes, they're like everyday shoes. They are super, super nice. Um, yeah, they're like 120 bucks, but I highly recommend getting them because honestly, shoes take up a lot of space in your backpack. And if you can get around it, I would only bring one, like honestly two pairs of shoes max because shoes are like really bulky and like awkward in your backpack. So yeah, these bad boys kind of do it all. And I recommend kind of buying black shoes because I think black just goes with everything. And like, I'll literally wear these going out. Like if I have, you know, a pair of like pants with them. They honestly look fine and it's all black, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, I guess I'll say people that make a big deal about shoes. I think rule of thumb is if you bring like a nice pair of shoes to go out, like if you're a backpacker, you can get away with wearing running shoes going out. Like no one gives a fuck. Black shoes kind of go with everything. And I like to say that if you need to bring a pair of shoes to get into a club, you probably don't want to be going to that club because it's going to be way too expensive. Especially if you're backpacking, you want to like, you're backpacking, you're on a budget, right? So you don't want to be spending that much money buying drinks. If it's too nice to not bring running shoes to the club, don't go. Okay, like one of the last things I guess is my camera bag. I will literally bring this if I'm just kind of like going for like a day out, whatever. Um, I'm bringing my camera that I'm using right now, my Sony A6000, and I'll just, you know, jab this in there and I'll just whatever walk around with this. Yeah, it's really nice and easy and it will keep my camera safe. So I can also like fit like a SD card or two in here and yeah, it's nice and handy. So I like to bring this around. My water bottle. Yeah, so you can use a lot of water bottles. There's a lot of expensive ones, you know, like hydro flasks and like all that shit. I literally just use this one. It's like an, it's Embark. And I found this honestly like around the house, but my opinion about a water bottle is that it has to be super light, like super easy to carry. Like I can strap this on to like a carabiner. My backpack can have to like hang off. And the fact that it's like small and that it screws. So I can like keep water in here, turn it around, not have to worry about like a pop or a sucky thing. Hydro flasks are nice, but they're usually heavy. Yeah, this doesn't really keep my water cold, obviously. It's, uh, it's super easy to wash. It's really light. I, I like this thing a lot, so. You don't need to buy an expensive one. Buy a cheap one like this. Like you literally carry a bit of water in it if you're super thirsty. Yeah, so a little, I guess, life hack, backpack hack, whatever you want to call it, travel hack. Uh, if you have like a Ray-Bans uh, frame, you can take it into a Ray-Ban store um, and they will replace the lens for you for like $50. Because um, Ray-Bans are like, you know, 200 bucks. But if you have the frame, you can literally just go in and they actually like, We'll put it in warm water so they can like mend it, you know, if it's like all like bent out of shape. Um, and it will, they will clean it for you, they'll mend it for you, and then they'll put new lenses on. So then you can have brand new lenses if you're like, your lenses are all scratched like mine were. 
Um, but yeah, so it's like one way to just get around buying a new pair of glasses. So yeah, Ray-Bans, love them. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps it up. Yeah, I hope you guys like that because that's pretty much everything I bring no matter where I go. I guess depending on if I go to a colder climate, I'll have to bring like, you know, a couple more pairs of like long pants, maybe a sweatshirt or two. Um, but honestly, you could always just buy things when you travel, you know, as well, because here in Thailand, like everything's super cheap here. So if I forgot a pair of flip-flops, I can probably buy them for, I don't know, 50 cents compared to back home with like, you know, $15. Like it's, you can buy them a lot of times in places way cheaper when you're traveling versus at home. So that's another thing. If you forget something, it's not a big deal because you can usually buy it there. Honestly, a lot of people have differing opinions about what to bring, what not to bring. Um, I know what I bring is not the same as what, you know, another backpacker will bring. And I actually uh, <laughs> I have 30 minutes to get out of this hotel. So I need to pack everything or repack everything now. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.